Hello! Let's have a look at how to create a system image and restore it. Basically what this is, it's a complete backup of your hard disk. Okay, so basically all your files, all your folders, all your programs, apps, etc. Okay, if you've tried refresh and reset and it didn't quite do everything you needed, this is probably getting closer to what you want. Okay, so basically how do we get there? Okay, we need to type in backup in Windows 10. Okay, and then files history. Okay, this brings us to here. And it's this tiny little thing at the bottom where you click on system image backup. Okay, you click on that, and basically it'll bring you to this window. Okay, it'll search, make sure that you have an external hard disk or so, or maybe an extra partition on this computer where you can actually use it because it needs to find one. Or you're going to have to use DVDs. Or a network. You're connected to a network, basically make sure you have sharing set up or whatever, and then you access a folder somewhere and then save it over there. Okay, we're going to use this hard disk right now. Okay, click next. Okay, the backup could take up to 11 gigabytes of disk space, which is not too bad. Okay, currently, whoops, we're using roughly yeah about 11 gigs so it's fairly accurate okay forget about OneDrive that was a mistake so it's backing up our EFI position partition and also the C drive that's quite nice okay click start backup okay and this will obviously take some time okay we shall resume when it's pretty much finished okay okay and it completed so that's that. Now how do we restore it, you might be wondering. Okay, there's two options. One, you can boot up using the DVD drive, the Windows DVD, or if it's Windows on a USB, Windows USB. Okay, or the alternative is reboot into advanced startup. Okay, the quickest way is just right click on that. Okay, hold down the shift button. As you can see, the shift is on. Okay, and then restart. Simple as that. Enter on that, enter a password, okay, and now it's going there, select a system image, that's the best choice, okay, and then on the new volume D, it's automatically found it, that's the one, okay, you could click on advanced, okay, search for a system image on the network, Install any drivers if they are required at that point. Okay. You might want to refresh to look for other images just in case yours isn't here. Once you've selected it, click next. Okay. It's going to basically restore the EFI and the C partition, exactly what was backed up. Okay. There we go. Click on that. All right. Click next. And make sure you don't kind of like shall we say have any power cuts or your batteries running out or anything like that okay or you switch off your computer halfway through it okay make sure it completes otherwise you'll have a problem okay click finish and that will basically restore it it will take some time obviously and once it's finished you're back to your original computer hopefully that's helped thanks for watching